Hello, this is Q Rush, and I will be showing you how to make this evergreen bracelet. I call it the evergreen bracelet because when you push it out, it makes these kind of. Oops. They kind of look like Christmas trees. It looks better on the other one. These are little Christmas trees. Green Christmas trees and pink sky. So this is my first video and I hope you enjoy it. First I need to get my loom on here. First, well, I will be using orange and dark purple for Halloween. I'm using dark purple instead of black because I don't have any black. This set didn't, of bands didn't come with black. And so it started. The pink and green one was made with, well, four bands going like this across. And the dark purple and yellow one was made with five bands. Today I'll be using three. I haven't made one with three yet. I'm excited to see how it turns out. And now we're going to make of kind of X's, they're not exactly X's. So I'm going to put the band there and move it across this purple. And then, sorry, my own bit sometimes. I'll put this one and stretch it across this purple. And then I'll take the third orange. You want to make sure that you have the same number of both colors. If you do two colors like I am, the sides will be two different colors. See how on this one it has the green and the pink. Oh, right here, the pink. So if you do two colors, it will be like that. If you do three colors, the sides will probably be multicolored. I don't know because I haven't done one of three colors yet. And now I'll we'll start the hooking process. Now, some of the pegs will have two bands on them. If they have two bands on them, like this one does, then you'll loop it over. Like you, know, And make sure you don't go inside this orange band, because that's not what you're supposed to do. You have to grab it from the outside of the peg and pull it over. Same with these on this side. You'll pull it over. This one over. And this one does not have, and this peg does not have two bands on it, so I won't pull it over. And now I'll add purple bands because it's so close. You know, actually, I think this one will do yellow to see how it looks with three colors. Oh no, I dropped one. I don't like dropping them. Nobody does. Okay. So I'll do this heel band. I'm doing it backwards because sometimes my hand kind of covers up the screen. There, I have my three yellows. Now I'll start the hooking process again. Now this time there will be three pegs on this side. Oops, three pegs on this side with two bands, and three pegs on this side with two bands. So I take the first band, this one's going to be purple, and pull it over, and then this one. And again, make sure you don't go inside these yellow bands. Yours might not be yellow, but mine are. And then you hook them over on this side too. So they should be three pegs with two bands on them on each side. 
If there weren't, then you probably did something wrong and should go back and watch it again. Sorry about the lighting, it doesn't show up very well on this video camera kind of thing. Now I'll do purple again, this time I'll be the long bands, but it doesn't make any difference if they're long or short, because if I had it in the other formation, they would just all be X's. And another one. I forgot to push these down, so that's kind of a pain. So make sure you push your bands down, kind of like I didn't. I forgot to push my bands down. Now there should, again, there should be three pegs with double bands. So you hook them over. Three pegs with double bands. And two, three. Now push down. It's so much easier if you push it down. Now, oh, I forgot what I was going to do next. Oh, yes, orange. So I'm going purple, orange, yellow, purple, orange, yellow. It's a lot harder with three colors, so if this is your first bracelet like this you're making, then maybe you should start with two. Now, for now on, there should be three pegs with double bands. I'll put these three over. Then in the back, sorry if I'm going too slow for you, too fast. Oh, sorry, I guess that's the front for you, it's the back for me. If you hear weird noises, then that's my brother. He has a friend over and they're being kind of loud. I wish they would be quiet. Now I'm going to take my yellows and go. These will be the long bands. Now, once again, there should be three pegs with double bands. I mean, two bands. I said double. <laughs> this one has two bands. This one has two bands. This one. Oh, I almost didn't get that on there. It has two bands. And on the other side, this one has two bands. This one has two bands. And this one has two bands. So, the one with two bands on them. Now, hook the bottom band over the top band. And don't go inside these yellows like this, go outside the yellows, and hook the band, like, over the yellows. Oops. I'm still getting used to this camera. Now push down. Now if you have a kind of wound, sorry, if you want to wear my nail, nails, I painted them and then it all got scratched off from using my fingers on the loom and a bunch of other random things I did. You'll need to make it go through here, so you just hook it or pull with your fingers through here. I'm pushing with my fingers. Sorry, my hand got in the way. Well, it's, mine's not quite long enough yet, so you do that a little later, but... Since I have a rainbow loom, I'm going to let mine go through the bottom. But if you don't have a rainbow loom and it's not adjustable, I think I'm going to go tell you to be quiet. Hi. Hi. I decided not to do that. They're having too much fun for me to tell them to be quiet. Now, what am I to do? Did I finish hooking? Yes, I did finish hooking. Now these will be the shorter bands. Oh, I'm sorry, I went off camera. I'll start that part over. There. There. Now, 
can see these all have two bands on them. I will hook the bottom bands over. And I'll push down. Now after this, I'll be going a little faster. And I might have to stop the video and do a part two because I don't know how to pause the video and finish up my bracelet and then start it later. So I think I am going to have to make a part two. And I'll show you a few more times. And then I'll quit and make a part two. Because I do not have a fancy camera or anything. Now what was I doing next? Oh yes, orange. will be the longer bands. Oops, wrong side. Oh, I'm still holding my hook, I'm sorry. There goes that one. And that one. And that one. Now I'll hook them. This one has two bands, the bottom band goes over, has two bands, the bottom band goes over. Peg, this peg has two bands, the bottom band goes over. And this one has two bands, the bottom band goes over. And uh, once again, don't go inside these orange bands. Sorry if I'm bugging you saying that so much, I just don't want you to miss that. Not that you would, or anything. But I just, I don't know if it's your first time doing this bracelet and this is not my best video. And it's my first video, so it might not be very good, and I might say kind of weird stuff. So this one is good. Push down. And drop my hook. I always forget to drop my hook. Sorry, I'm getting a little crooked here. Now, it looks kind of weird from the top, but from the side. Now, if you don't have a rainbow, then now would be the time to pull it through here. Or here, or wherever is convenient for you. So, you just push your pull with your fingers and hook it to get it through here. Mine was pretty easy since it was only three. But since I have a rainbow in, I'll push it back through that little gap. Oh, this is hard. Sorry, I got off camera. This camera is still kind of tricky. Eventually it'll start coming out the bottom. See, you have these purple bands. I guess you can, I can pull on mine already. And eventually, if you, if you like to pull on them, then that's fine. Oh, and on the other side of my loom, I have this giant fish tail. It's probably not even. It's very big. It has a, a little over 5,000 bands right now. And I started that before I got on YouTube. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting to hook that. So. Um, in a little bit, I'll stop this video so I can do part two. And in part two, I will start with the bracelet already the size of my wrist. Actually you should make this maybe a little smaller than your wrist. For my wrist, um I forgot how many rows I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, 32 or 33 rows on this pink one. And you can be one. Oh, I forgot to hook them again. Now I guess I will mess up on purpose so I can show you what to do if you mess up. No, I'm not gonna do that, I guess. Well, no, maybe it would be handy. See these purple bands? No, I'm not going to do that because then, I don't know, I'm just not going to do that. But if you forget to hook one side, then I'm going to already add the other bands. Just take the other bands off 
I know I see variety folks now. Okay. Oh wait, no, I forgot one. No, I keep one I did. Oh, I forgot three. I almost forgot to hook the whole other side. There. Now push down. And I like to keep pulling the bracelet out the bottom. That's what I'm doing here. Pulling it out the bottom. And we're starting to look good. Halloween. I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. And now, this is the last time, and then I'm going to stop the video and start part two. I mean, I just did, that, that was right. Sorry, I keep sticking my hand in the camera. So you put these bands on. And since these pegs have two bands, I'll hook it over. I'll hook over the bottom one and make sure you don't put it, your hook inside even. Now push down. Now if you need me to teach you again, then you can rewind your video and I'll see you at part two. Bye. still recording. I don't know what I am doing. Okay, I'm doing something really weird, so I'm just going